to work out the rhythm in Shakespeare's poetry, this is quite difficult to do. The first rule is to read out the lines aloud to yourself or to a person um, and get a sense of the beats in the line, the heavy stresses in the line and the soft stresses. And that's the essence of rhythm. It's the beat of a particular line. Once you've uh, worked out where the beats go in a particular line of poetry, um, a way of marking it out is to have a, a diagonal line going over the heavy stresses of a particular line of poetry and have a little kind of um, bowl-shaped line um, going over the soft stresses, which you can see here in this particular scanned line of poetry. Scanning a line of poetry is working out where the beats go and we can see this in this particular line from Hamlet to be or not to be. You then need to find out what the effect of these particular beats are. There are two main types of rhythm. There's a rising rhythm and there are falling rhythms. With a rising rhythm, the very basic unit called an iam, which is d-dum, that's um, two syllables, the first one soft, the second one stressed, d-dum, um, is a rising rhythm. And that is very, very common in our speech. It's basically how we speak. We speak in a kind of de-dum, de-dum, de-dum um, way, particularly in the English language. Um, and it will give often a kind of positive, hopeful um, sense to a particular line. Most of Shakespeare's poetry is written in iams. And it's called iambic pentameter because you have five sets of iams in every line, um, de-dum five times. Um, the other type of rising rhythm is called an anapest and that's de-de-dum. Um, so we get a kind of a rising rhythm which is a bit more fast paced than the iam, um, which is more sort of leisurely, sounds more like kind of a walking pace. The other type of rhythm is falling rhythm. And these are less common, um, but do come up quite a bit in Shakespeare. And the first type is a trochee, which is a dum D. And this often creates a falling sensation, often creates a sense of irregularity as opposed to the I am, which sounds quite regular. And the other type of falling rhythm is the dactyl which is dum d d again um, creating a falling sensation often creating a kind of sense of irregularity uncertainty in a particular line um, so that's the kind of nuts and bolts of rhythm falling and rising rhythm and if you can get a sense of whether a line does have a rising or falling rhythm you're going to do pretty well because you can really basically say whether something's got a, a, a rising um, sensation in the line often creating a positive optimistic um, outlook in a particular line or a falling sensation which often creates a sense of irregularity a sense of falling, literally falling, or a sense of um, uncertainty and anxiety. Um, so those are the two basic types of rhythm. You'll need to read through particular lines and work out where the stresses come and listen to see whether there is a rising or falling rhythm in the line.